Gobble on. This is going to be our next video, cooking with Mario, S sea bass right out of the ocean, nice and fresh. I'm going to clean this fish, okay, just go right down the back like this. sharp knife when you do this. It's important that you have a good sharp fillet knife. You want to cut under here, okay? Right where this fin is. You want to go back down through it. Right down this back here, like that. This backbone. You try to keep the knife against the bone best you can, so you get all the meat. Mm. Nice fillet. Mm -hmm. Here's the fillet. See how nice that looks? I'll take the skin off. It's gonna be good, we're gonna make a beautiful Striped bass dinner. Well, we're taking the skin off this fillet now. All right, we got one of our fillets done. See? Now this one's the next one. We want to get the skin off of it. Go down on it like this. stuff we want to get it off you don't want to leave it on the floor there you go that's that so go off real nice I'm gonna take this little bit of black this little dark fatty meat off of here make it look real nice you can pull these bones out you don't want no bones in your filet it's gonna be really good Nice fresh fish. You don't get it any fresher than this. Last night while you were sleeping, I went fishing. I caught myself a striper, a striped bass. We're gonna make striped bass. Okay? Let me show you how to make a nice little striped bass. There's a lot of ways of doing it. I'm gonna get a little creative. We're gonna make a, I'm gonna dredge it in some corn cornstarch and flour. I'm gonna put some seasoning in it, I'm gonna fry it off, and then I'm gonna make a real nice tropical topping for it. It's gonna be magnificent. We're all gonna love it. Let's do this now. Here they are. Here's these beautiful fillets that I have. I cut, I, I, I filleted them last night. I did want to show you this though. This has to come off. This, you don't want this on here, okay? That has to come off a little bit. Let's just want it nice. Nice and good. Okay. 
You're going to feel for any bones. You don't want any bones because that will ruin somebody's day. Okay? Feel for any bones. There's one here. Got my little bone tool. I'm going to pull that out. See? I don't want no one having that. Okay, so I use my fish pliers, they're stainless steel, they're perfect for what I needed before I took it. I got all the bones out of it. All right, these look good. I want to make little chunks of it. I'm going to probably cut them in threes. All right. All right. And there you go. There's going to be our striped bass. Caught out of the Atlantic Ocean by me, Mario. I make a dredge. Now I'm using equal parts of cornstarch and flour. The reason I'm doing that is the cornstarch will, will make it nice and crispy, okay? Now you can season this whatever you want. I mean, I'm gonna just throw, I have this hot garlic and I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna, what do you call it? Measure it, I just, this is real spicy, so I'll put a little bit of that in there. Then I have this lemon pepper. Lemon goes great with fish. Got some lemon pepper. Okay. I wanted to have some, you know, I want to have some seasoning on here. A little bit of salt, sea salt. Okay. And that's it. I'll mix that up. All right. We're going to dredge them all up real quick. This is a real easy recipe, it's fast, it's nice, it's got good flavor to it, you're gonna enjoy this. Um, it's gonna be fun. Okay, now I'm gonna make a nice, uh, I have some really nice tropical stuff here. I got some mango, I got some real sweet, golden, delicious pineapples, some shallots, some red pepper, we're going to saute that in some butter. We're going to add some seasonings to it, and that's going to be our topper, okay? See you in a minute. All right, so you want to prep this and get it cooked before you fry the fish because you want to just fry the fish, top it, and eat it. You don't want that laying around because we're basically, it's like a fish fry, all right? So I'm going to start prepping this up. When you do these peppers, you want to get all this out of it. Peppers. Nice like that. Got a shallot right here. Shallot. Now, I like garlic, that's my thing. Just because I'm Italian, I guess. But I like garlic. Some people don't. So this stuff's gonna go in the fryer, in the frying pan first. There's a little bit of butter. These mango real quick. These mangoes, see how it's lying on its side? Well, the, the, the stone is like, how can I explain it to you? It's, you gotta cut it like this. And then these things here, I just wanna go like this. 
Otherwise it gets frayed. You know, I'll do it if you do it another way. So I'm going to throw the peppers in here now. Okay, there you go. Put them in at the very end. Salt and pepper are real nice. They're so sweet. It's going to have a sweet, salty flavor. It's going to be excellent. These are ready. This is ready. See how it looks? It's nice and sweat. I'm going to put this in there. Right. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of my spicy garlic on there because I like it a little spicy. But I'm only gonna put just a little bit on here. And the lemon pepper that we had. This is really that right out. And this is it. You don't really have to, you don't want to cook this. You know, I don't want it to be like cooked to death. I just want it to be fresh. Because the, the fruit, is, the key is having real fresh fruit. You have real fresh fruit, this works great. Okay? Meantime, this is pretty much done. We're we'll lower it down a little low. Okay. And then I'm going to turn the heat up on this bad boy. And we're getting ready to fry the fish. It's going to be a fish fry. Yeah. Who likes a fish fry? Huh? I'm going to fry these off. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice and golden brown. Keep an eye on it. Don't leave it because you don't want to burn it. You want to stay over it. It's a labor of love. So we're going to put a little bit of orange, fresh squeezed oranges and lemon in this, this fella. Because I want a little bit of a, I want a little bit of like a, a juice for it. That'd be nice. Okay. Good. Look how it looks. Look how that looks, see? Eh? Some of this in there, right? Gives us a little more juice. Get it off. We got a nice citrusy going on here. Look at how nice that looks. It's got a lot of flavor in it. I don't want to make it too salty. Mm. A little bit more salt. Look how nice these are coming out. I don't know if you get to see them. See how nice they look. That's a great return. Now you do the thick ones first because obviously they take longer to cook. All right, now fish, you know, you don't overcook fish. All right. See, pretty soon we're going to be plating this up. It's going to be beautiful. You're going to love it. I'm telling you, best fried fish you ever ate. All right, once you put that orange in and that lemon in there, you want to hit it with a little bit of honey, get it a little sweeter. Okay, just a nice little bit of fresh honey. Okay, it's going to caramelize a little bit. It'll stick to that fish when we plate it. 
How's it look? Good or what? It's coming along real nice. Fish is almost done. We're getting ready to plate it up. It's getting exciting now. It's getting exciting in the kitchen. All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Striped bass getting ready to get plated up. I made a nice little bouquet of green beans, some, some tricolor rice. All right, I'm gonna take this tail, I'm gonna plate this on the bottom like this. I'm gonna take some of this juice. I'm gonna hit just a little bit of this on here like that. Okay. And then this guy's gonna go right on top like this. And he's gonna get some juice. with some parsley, fresh parsley, bam! And there you have it. Bon appetito, a salute, Mario's straight bass, the best in the world.